All right, Stockmaster fans, another re-review from my previous channel, Emmanuel Around the World. And as I recall, this is a particularly sleazy one. Let's check it out. Our movie starts with Emmanuel boning some lucky dude. I guess that was her truck driver friend. I think the film starts in San Francisco, and she is a reporter once again. She's a reporter in San Francisco, and there is her friend Cora, who's a rival reporter. She's got a juicy story coming. Welcome back to civilization, Emmanuel. I was glad to hear you turn your back on paradise and prepared to enjoy once again the benefits of this wonderful consumer world in which we live. She has to run naked out of a hotel room after she gets almost assaulted by somebody she knows. But you're trembling. What knows the matter? She's naked? I think she's heading to New York originally. Have you loved a lot of men? No, but I've had a lot of men. Now she's off to India. Okay, let's forget that and talk about why you're sending me to India. What the hell am I supposed to do with an Indian guru? I know that religion is coming back into fashion. But don't tell me it's racy enough for this newspaper. That's what you think. They say you discovered the secret of the ultimate climax. So she arrives in India. Please don't be angry. A woman named they think I've already left. Mary is in her hotel room. You've got to let me stay. I just don't have anywhere else to go. Why is that? She lets her stay. They're in bed together in no time at all. But when I tried to get out, I was gang raped. There were five of them. They work for an organization that recruits girls for the Middle East. I still can't believe I managed to get away from So she may have discovered a white slave ring herself. Everything you have on your George mind. Eastman is the girl she's been sent to see. He's the one who's discovered the ultimate climax. So there's a major orgy going on, and she's taking pictures with this uh, phone that she has on... I'm sorry, this camera that she has on her wrist. So she decides the next step would be to get naked and join. She and the guru watch the orgy a little bit, and then she interviews him. Only those who are rich can be truly comfortable. And the poor? The poor remain poor because they're not intelligent or cunning enough to become rich. She and the guru then do it, although she's not too impressed with his exploits. Uh, don't worry about it. You just have to let yourself go a bit more. After years of holding back for the ultimate orgasm, no wonder you come through quickly. They lost me on the Appian Antique. Cora joins her. I went back on my tracks, but I couldn't find them. Or the two French girls. Okay, I think I'll do some sightseeing. Okay, get on with it. Cora then has a run-in with several gentlemen who take advantage of her unwillingly on her part. And this gentleman bought some ladies. Manuel is going to experience some uh, love time with this inexperienced young man on his boat or his parents' boat. They have to hide in the closet when mom shows up. So they're naked in a closet while mom shows up with a woman. So they start getting hot and heavy in the closet while mom and the woman go lesbian in front of them. With Cora running to get her, she's too late. Emmanuel gets kidnapped by some Chinese men in Hong Kong. That can't be good. She ends up tied in a chair, and this guy's going to have a bunch of other naked people in there that he's going to do things to that Emmanuel has forced to watch. Cora to the rescue. Cora does rescue her. Yes, you're right. That dog must still be horny. Perhaps he'd like to finish with you what he started with the girl. No, you can't. That's not it. Okay. But they meet Greta, I think is her name. Don't you worry about us. We've already had dealings with them. We'll come through it all right. Besides, I'm kind of turned on by the idea of becoming a sheik's courtesan. Okay, so tomorrow it's the doctor. The they end up in Tehran, Iran, where they join a harem. Undercover. 
no one will ever see her again. She'll disappear like all the others. Apparently they go to some place on the Ivory Coast where they become uh, prostitutes. At one point, the girls cause a diversion so Emmanuel can escape and uh, wander around this mansion or wherever the hell they are and take pictures with her little wrist camera. Can't show you what she sees behind this door. That's nice and easy. This is the Arab All man in charge here. And your conscience is clear. You are provoking me, my dear. But I don't quite understand what you're hoping to achieve. And you? I bet you'll try to stop us from publishing our story. So they have a threesome with the dude. Why not? Next thing you know, they're all down on this New York City pier, and this lady's gonna get stripped naked and have to dance. While she's assaulted, Emmanuel and Cora have to run away. And the next day, they take everybody away. I guess she's still alive. Everybody seems to be relatively okay. Manuel had to do some unsavory things too with his gentleman, which I couldn't show. How's the girl? I don't know if she'll make it. Did they get all of them? Yes. It's all over, Manuel. No, it isn't. This is just the beginning, Cora. We've got to find the courage to tell everyone what's been going on. The last scene is Emmanuel on a boat in New York Harbor. Alright, let's talk about Emmanuel Around the World, which uh, I have on this DVD here. Came on this wonderful Black Emmanuel's box set, Volume 1, uh, which I've got several years ago, Severn put this out. Um, rumors again of a uh, of another uh, Black Emmanuel box set coming soon, maybe. Maybe in 2022, a Blu-ray set, so we'll see what that entails. This movie here, I actually had this, I rented this back in uh, 1989 or so. Copied it, never watched it, although I'm sure the VHS I had was cut quite a bit. Uh, I've seen this twice now on this DVD, and man, this is a sleazy movie. Uh, even in terms of Emmanuel movies, this one is pretty darn sleazy. Um, wow. Uh, there is some stuff in here that uh, I can't even begin to describe, and I certainly couldn't show it to you, but you should actually watch this movie and check it out. It's, um, I don't want to say it's erotic, but it's definitely, uh, I guess from a guy's standpoint, you could say boner-inducing, because there's plenty of uh, that stuff going on in this movie, it's, uh, and it's nice to see, because these are all lovely ladies in this movie. But anyway, she really does go around the world in this movie. Uh, starts out in San Francisco. She ends up in New York and India and uh, Hong Kong, uh, Tehran. They actually filmed part of this movie in Tehran, in the middle of Iran, right before the, uh, a couple years before the Shah was overthrown. So I mean, it was a little more tolerant back then. I don't know. But anyway, that's what happened here. Um, at one point, she's supposed to go to India to meet this guru, uh, played by George Eastman, who has discovered the ultimate climax. She ends up sleeping with him and says it well, he wasn't that great because you've been built up so long and you delay your orgasm so much that you come too quickly or something like that. I don't know. It's ridiculous. Um, she's involved in a harem at one point. There's some white slavery stuff going on. There's some stuff with a snake, which I, good Lord, I couldn't show you. Um, let's just leave it at that. There's some stuff in this movie, that if, especially if you pause and freeze frame, You'll see stuff that you generally don't see in, in, in a movie, um, unless it's uh, something you watch on Pornhub or something like that. Let's just say that. But wow, uh, yeah, it's a dirty movie. It's sleazy. Like I said, even for an Emmanuel movie, it's pretty darn sleazy. But um, I can't say it wasn't enjoyable. It was just uh, typical stuff, which is a little dirtier. That's all. 97 minutes of Emmanuel doing her thing. Um, eventually, the last scene in the movie was really weird. There was They were down on this dock in New York, and then this woman was stripped naked, and then she was forced to dance around. But then after like five seconds of being horrified, she started enjoying it and was happy and smiling. And then all the smiles went away when they assaulted her, and then these two, Emmanuel had to get away. And But then, I don't know, I guess everybody got arrested except Emmanuel and, and Cora, and uh, they're going to publish their story. Who knows what the hell's going on? I don't know. But anyway, that's it. Emmanuel around the world. What more can you say about it? You know what you're getting into when you watch this shit. So, and this one does not disappoint. So anyway, that's it. Emmanuel's back to take you places you've never been before. Well, I take that. I don't, I don't think that's right. She's been to Hong Kong. She's been to Rome. She was in Rome in this movie as well. Uh, Trevi Fountain was there. Um, you know, I've been to the Trevi Fountain in Rome. And I, so I've stood right where Emmanuel stood. How about that? But anyway, yeah. Um, she's also been to New York. I don't think she's been to San Francisco, though. That was new. And going to Iran, that was new, too. So Emmanuel has been to Iran, and she boned a guy there. So 
that's it. Check it out. Leave some comments. I'll leave a link to it down below if you're looking for it. And yeah, if you want a sleazy Laura Gemser Emanuel movie, this is the one you want from the Black Emanuel series. So check it out. Leave some comments. Watch it. Bye.